Hi lovely Tank here aka your mama on a mission and I'm here to give you three simple tips of how to overcome resistance and this is um, something that I was able to glean from a conversation that I had with another amazing like-minded woman and entrepreneur but one thing that I wanted to three things that I wanted to share as a tip for overcoming resistance are number one you want to identify what it is that you want to accomplish it could be um, a professional goal it could be something in your home it could be a um, you know decision within your business with your children identify what it is you want to accomplish and then number two you don't want or, or that's just like the main thing right and then I would say number one is you don't want to forecast too far in advance of what could be. You know, we, we sometimes project out so we can kind of prepare ourselves for what's to come. But what happens is we create unnecessary resistance when we project too far out. So you don't want to protect, project too far out. You want to, number two, just look at what is that next best step you can take based on what it is you've decided you want to accomplish. There's always one thing that you can do. And when we project too far out, what happens is, is we don't do the one thing because we're thinking about step 500 and what that will bring. And we are not really prepared for step 500, right? We are prepared to do step one or step two or step three within the process. So what is the next best step that you can do? And number three, once you identified what it is that next step could be, or what that next step is, you wanna look at how can you create consistent action within that step. And um, that was a beautiful nugget that I took away from my conversation this morning, is that it, it really is that consistent movement that creates momentum. And I've seen it in my own life, and it's something that I have practiced in other areas of life. But when I butt up against that resistance, it becomes very difficult to make movement. So if you can identify what it is you want to accomplish, number one, not project too far out. Number two, um, figure out what is that consistent movement that you can take. And well, number two is figure out what's that next best step. And number three, what is consistent movement you can make, movement you can make in that direction. So I hope that you have incredible success this week and I wish you nothing but the best and um, I look forward to our next video and my next opportunity to share what I'm learning on my journey and impart that with you. Lovely Tank here aka your mama on a mission signing out. Peace. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.